Hello. Uh, just before today's video, just an announcement or an appeal to all Bouncy fans attending Blackpool. Um, I've been reached out by Blackpool fan. You can find him on Twitter um, at JohnsonBFC23. Um, it, it reached out to us a couple of months ago to build up a Blackpool game about his son Paulie, who sadly passed away. Um, his son Paulie was born at 21st at 3rd, 2000, and sadly passed away 20th at 4th, 2001, uh, only 13 months old. As I'm sure you can appreciate, 13 months old is no age, no age as a kid. iPhone as a parent, and many of you watching this probably can relate to this as a parent as well. Uh, how devastated the family must have been. So uh, what he's asking, and I ain't got a problem with that, and just share it out as many people as you can watching this video, share it out on your socials. I'm not bothered about the rest of the video, you know, I know that you always watch that. But for this, come and make it happen, please. On the 13th minute, um, a round of applause um, for his son, Paulie, who solid passed away at 13 months old. And again, just share, get it amongst your friends. We're taking a great following down. You know, as a as a parent, football comes second to none. It's all about family. So, yeah, uh, 13th minute, please. A round of applause for Paulie, who sadly passed away at 13 months old. Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, Ryan the Bearded Tyke. Ryan, as always, it's a pleasure, mate. We'll be talking about the away trip at Portsmouth and another away trip coming up at weekend against Blackpool and someone's going on a, a weekend uh, a weekend outing, not a Jolly Boys outing, but a weekend outing on that one. Mm. Mentioning no names, are we, Ryan? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, getting back to the Portsmouth game, mate. Looking at the team lineup because uh, Andy Giddings phoned us up from Radio Sheffield to go on and, and eat uh, about quarter past seven overnight. They run about the team lineup. And he went, well, what a surprise, like, you know, with certain changes. I went, I am me, oh, Keith and Cotter, if I'm being fair. Yeah. But having said that throughout game, I, I, I thought it was a pretty good shout by the Collins if, uh, with Cotter being Can't him. Have but... Can't have a good game, mate, I think. But Yeah, what, 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 what we are taking on starting 11. Well. Yeah. What we are taking on starting 11, Ryan, when it comes out. Um, I mean, I, I, I were happy to see, you know, I thought Jallo might have got a start, but I can see... Mm -hmm. He went. He went with Conor Grant, um, and and then obviously Kane and Phillips in midfield. And I thought Conor Grant had an excellent game. I thought. It, I thought. Great ball, actually. Yeah. Great ball about moving it quickly. I thought. I thought. It, I thought it were excellent. Um, um, but I was a bit surprised that Corey O'Keefe weren't mm. starting after his performance on Saturday. So I thought he were one of better players on Saturday, and I, mm. you know, I thought on Saturday he didn't deserve to come off, and he certainly didn't deserve to not, not to start yesterday. But Cotter played. Cotter played well, to be fair. Hmm. I thought I thought he played well actually. Um so it it's one of them. I'd have probably pre preferred to see O'Keefe in, but it, I mean it was an attacking lineup. It wasn't a, you know, yeah. it was an attacking lineup. And you know, credit where credit's due. We played a very attacking game. We 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 went at him, didn't we? We really did go at him. And hmm. the performance was it one of the better ones I've seen all season. I know, listen, yeah. it might sound crackers because we've lost the game, but I thought we. I no, thought I know we what you were, mean. I thought mm -hmm. we were for, for the vast majority of that game, we were excellent last night. You know, yeah. Collins, he's been under a lot of stick from fans recently, certainly about the style of play. Um, but last night were almost spot on, um, mm -hmm. which we'll cover off in a minute about the substitutions and it costing us. But you know, I think. We did not just roll over, did we? And they knew they had a game on their hands. We'd, we'd shut, we'd silence the crowd for a lot, for a good part of that, you know, for a good, mm -hmm. good part of that game. They, they, they started off noisy, and then by the end of the first half, because Brian Howard were doing commentating, wasn't he, on um, mm -hmm. on iFollow? And he was saying, you know, we've quieted them down significantly uh, by half time. So I'm, 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 I'm gutted after last night, mate. I really am. I feel, I feel, I feel devastated. I've, I haven't felt this gutted about a game since, um, since playoff final. I'll be honest. I'm absolutely good because we, we, we were so good. We were, 
mostly the the better team. We definitely deserved a point as a minimum coming out of that. And to lose it the way we did is just is just um yeah proper snappy mate. So well, get to the first half then, because I mean, I agree with you. Is that I thought we that was the most. I think it helped as well. Watching for having to go out and play, knowing that you know yeah. they could either go up as like promotion or they could go up as champions. A lot of variables with Bolton result as well, like they ended up drawing, so it didn't really matter in one way or other. But I think the occasion. Sort of both sides. Barnsley obviously wanted to go out and win and cement their spot in uh, playoffs. Portsmouth for win vice versa. And I think for a neutral fan as well, I thought that would have been a decent game for a neutral because for mm. certainly end to end stuff, some tackles going in, especially in second half, were again a bit feisty at times. Yeah. But I mean, when we went one no took, Devante Cole, Devante Cole finally getting off at score sheets <laughs> for how many games? And I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what? They could I say it after, but I think after that, we didn't sit back, Ryan, and we, we said to carry on going, carry on taking game to him, mate. We really did. We played some really, really nice football. But like you said, Neil, that the Portsmouth style lent itself to us to be able to do that. I'm not taking anything away from the performance, but you know, like boxing, styles met fights and styles met matches, and you know. Portsmouth, obviously, they're in the position because that's the style of football that they play. Very attacking. They had an eye line. It were, you know, we were getting in behind them and they were pushing on. So there were gaps in midfield and, and, and the break were always on. But it was a great game to watch. It was a great game of football to watch. It, you know, I, was, I went up to our kids to watch it and, he, you know, he said it just feels like it. It feels like a playoff semi final. You yeah. had that feel to it like 100 mile an hour, proper frantic. Under the lights, it just felt it had that special feel to it, and mm. um, I, I and I, I would a bit um, dubious about I end the first half when we come out. I think can we do go and do it in the second half when we come out and we started like you know yeah. a million miles an hour again. So to to come away with nothing from that performance is 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 gutting, mate. I'm I'm proper gut. We didn't deserve to lose last night. No, you know. We re- we really didn't. We deserved to come away with something from that from that game. But you know, fair play to Pompey. I said they scored a lot of late goals. These guys they scored a lot of the, the, the amount of late again, goals they it? scored, especially at that end as well that they were scoring. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and, and and it proved it proved that way again. And that's probably why the champions, mate, as well as yeah. you know, as well as all the other stuff as well. But they they, they, they keep going right to the end and get the results, don't they? Um, McAtee's goal. I mean, quality finish that as well. You know, running yeah. down on goal, quality, quality finish that, mate. Quality finish, great ball by, great ball by um, Cadden, Manny Cadden. Yeah. Great ball, defense splitter, split mm. it straight between all three, three defenders. He's run on and stroked it in. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, great goal, mate. Great goal. I thought, you know, the the, the ball by Kane as well in the first half. Uh, McAtee's one on one. Keepers made a good save. Could yeah. he dinked it? I don't know. It's, it's one of them keepers actually made. A good I thought save. that could he. Yeah, just dinked it. Yeah. He, he, if he dinks it, like, like 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 my son said, if he dinks it and miss, it looks as da- it looks daft. Then so he's got he's gone for power. Keepers come out and made a you know fair play. Keepers made a really good save. Yeah. But um, the ball by Kane, kick? the vision, the vision by Kane to see it, and, he, and he's pinged it round back of there. You know they're pushing on. He's pinged it round the back line, and obviously Mac has used his pace. Um, so there were some really really good bits of football, mate. Um, and I thought well, like, it up until you what sorry. Was it a penalty? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It didn't look like it at first because it looked like because you if you from the angle where the camera it was, looks soft. Mac has gone it? in yeah. and it looks like ball's gone that way. Yeah. But if you if you saw it side on, he actually don't get any contact at all with ball. Hmm. It just gets knocked away by Portsmouth player and it and, it, and he gets he gets that leg mate and it's hmm. it's a bit clumsy if I'm being honest. Yeah. But it, you know I'm not I'm not gonna hold it against him. Um, mm-hmm. You know, he's only trying to do his best and, and, and he's he's just... Possibly tired legs and all that later. Tired legs, mate. Stage, he probably, should, yeah. probably should have come off a bit earlier, I think. Probably should have come mm. off a bit earlier, but... Cheers, cheers what it is. I thought we... I thought I thought, I thought thought if Roberts had stuck his arm out a bit further, he might have saved penalty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he went it, right, it, he went right. He went right. Like, I, thought, it, I, thought yeah. he got, I thought I thought he was going to get it because he saved yeah. his last two, hasn't he? He saved his last two penalties, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean... Yeah, it, it, it was a penalty, unfortunately. Um, I, I was screaming that it were, but once I've seen it again, it, it, it was a penalty. Mm. Their third goal, Ryan, again, late substitution and <sighs> McCart. 
lost position when he came on, which led to the corner, and it was his man where he didn't pick up, mate. And well, there's you've got to there. you've got to say there, right? Of I praise the tactics for the game because he's come out and we've played really attacking football. He started with a really attacking lineup. So I don't want to get too much. Of, Neil Collins has been, like I said, he's been getting a lot of flat recently. Mm. But that is mm. massive egg on your face. That one, that's just yeah. Because he's, why, why change the back three? What were the needs? Change know. the back three for? He said it's because they thought they were getting out jumped or like no. Yeah, I but thought, just been, well, you know what I mean. Just for eighty-seven minutes, he held out. I thought the back three played for most of it. Played really well, mm. you know. And he he put he took they give me out in the middle where he had been. I put him out on the right, and he put McCart yeah, in. The it middle. altered everything, didn't and it? Within one minute, within a minute, McCart had missed it, it, a long ball. All he has to do is get rid of it. He yeah. farts about, it, you know, he lets it bounce. He misjudges the bounce, so it goes over his head. He then slips over. It's like comedy over. errors. Mm. And then obviously, I think it, but it, I can't remember who come back for block. I don't know if it was Phillips or or somebody. Somebody's blocked the cross coming in. Obviously, mm. they've got the corner, and then and then he's lost his man and got out jumped. Ironically. Mm. That he'd, be, he'd been brought on because he thought the players were getting out jumped. Yeah. Um, and that, yeah. that were all within a minute of coming on. Um, yeah. So the change that he made to show up at the back has just backfired big completely, time. Back, completely backfired on him, mate. And, uh, I think that's the only, for me, the only negative for, for, from the game. But it's, it's, a, it's a stinker of a decision, it's isn't it? It's a costly one, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's one of them, isn't it? You roll the dice and if it works, it works. And, he, you know, if he thunders that header back out of defence and it's. It works. I mean, I it? was. I mean, we, we were saying. He's usually good in there, McCart. He's too slow for me, McCart. But um, I, I don't think he should be getting a start again for the rest of the season. I think the back three that are playing as they are at the minute need to play. Yeah. As, just because that's the best three that we've got available to us at the moment. Um, I mean, I said at post, if I'd have been lucky to come away, you know, I'd have been happy to come away with a draw and we were in touching distance about. Bear in mind, we were in front twice, which, but again, Portsmouth for not be here for you know we've only lost four all season. They're a very so very Portsmouth. good side, mate. Portsmouth, yeah. You know, and and had it finished to all, I'd have, I'd have been happy with that. Yeah, I'd have been gutted that we'd lost lead twice, but you know you got you got to imagine away, played, yeah. the atmosphere they were playing in last night. Were I mean phenomenal, phenomenal yeah. atmosphere. Um, you know, and and you know it were written in the stars that they were gonna you know they were gonna be promoted that night. They, they would have been anyway, regardless of the result because Bolton mm. drew. So, mm. um. On about atmosphere, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, obviously, Portsmouth went out to win 3 2 after eight minutes uh, at a time and everything like that. Yeah. And they were building and building and building, Ryan. And you know what I'm going to be on about, on about fans on pitch. Yeah. And people were, have seen it or might not be aware of this. It's on socials. And for some reason, why the club, Neil Collins, or the EFL, that made any statements at all, is baffling, or the media, such as Sky Sports News or BBC. Uh, Sky Sports News or BBC Sports, something like that. Why is something been brought up? I don't know. But uh, McCart getting clobbered a couple of times yeah. by different fans, mate, on pitch, pitch invasion. Yeah. Why has something been made away? Why hasn't it been put out of here or held accountable? I don't know. If I think if it had been an high profile game, as in, you know, your, your big teams in the Premier, it's been all over. But for some reason, because it's Barnsley in League One, his sense of going under the radar, just it's a baffling decision, mate. It needs to be called out, doesn't it? He does absolutely, mate. Absolutely, it's appalling, mate. And it's it's gonna, you know, ninety nine point nine percent of those Portsmouth fans are going on to celebrate on the pitch and enjoy yeah. the promotion. And you know, and congratulations to them. They, they, they absolutely yeah, yeah, deserve it. yeah. Not taking out away from a couple that, of yeah. a, a, a couple of idiots have completely spoiled it for them. And they're gonna get. If they, I mean, if it, it should be getting called out, it weren't on Sky Sports last night. There's no mention of it anywhere on news. There's no mention of it in in Neil Collins's uh, interview. He obviously knew about it. He's not mm. going to come back in where, where where one of his players has been absolutely clumped and not know all about it. Mm. Um, you know, and it's not like the video is off some the video that you can be seen is not off some like um mobile phone recording. Mm. It's it's off the TV, it's off the TV cameras at the end of the game. Yeah. So it's not like it can't be seen, so it's not even mentioned on Sky or anything. If that had been a high profile team in the Premier League, it'd have been mentioned straight away. No, nope. because it's 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 Barnsley versus Portsmouth. They're not even. I I, I won't surprise if we don't hear anything about it at all. Or Keith as well. Or Over Keith. Yeah, well, I mean that's more clear. I mean, you, I said as soon as he did that, I said to Arkady, "I said there's going to be bother." I said they've run up pitch here. There's going to the, the, some of our players are going to get clobbered here because mm. he went over to get the ball, didn't they? And they won't give yeah. ball back out of crowd. 
and they were they were snarling at him, and then he's tried to get it out, and one of them's pushed him in chest mm. when, it, when he's trying to when he's trying to get ball back. And of course, he's wearing Stone Island gear. Of course, he is. Yeah. Why wouldn't he be? It, you know what I mean? It's uh, those, those kind of you know stole that stone. I'm not saying that everybody wears Stone Island's like that, but we know the people no, 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 no. like that generally do. And yeah. it's just idiotic, mate. There's just no need for it. There's no need for it at all. Players, you know, the PFA and the AFL need to ensure that the, the safety of the players at the field because at the end of the day, they're at work. Mm. You know, they're in employment and they're at work. And everybody, all of us that go to work every day expect to be, you know, the minimum you can expect is to work in a safe environment. Yeah, you don't expect to go and get abused or get raided and clobbered, yeah. You know, I've seen people <clears throat> making excuses for it online. Oh, well, you know, they've just gone up and all this stuff. It's like, that's not how it works. You can, Would you no. would you accept being punished in head at work? No. Would you accept somebody coming, you know, if you work in a warehouse, somebody just running across, running, running across warehouse and clobbering you in head? Yeah, I've just got some other you know, time. Got a bonus just because it, they're yeah. professional footballers, they're still, they're still protected by still employment. Human beings. They yeah, to work yeah. in a safe environment. And, you know, they've not, they've not been able to, Portsmouth have not been able to stop the pitch invasion. And then there's been absolutely no correspondence or no no calling it out from Barnsley, from the EFL, from the PFA, from any of the media, from Portsmouth, nothing. Absolute radio silence. And it's and it's not good enough, mate. No, it's not. I'm hoping that club, uh, either uh, Barnsley and more importantly Portsmouth, I hope there's some kind of statement just get put out. Because if not, I'll be asking questions why. Uh, I'll be asking questions why me. Uh, and I think anybody who's watching this, you know, let me know your thoughts on that. We, we kind of know that pitch invasions happen. Yeah, exuberance and that. All day long, not a problem. But to clobber someone, you know, I mean, look at it. He didn't fall to his feet because of the amount of people coming over. He worst case scenario, he could have been trampled on. And That's, you know, one, of, that's one of the biggest concerns, not just for players, but for fans as well, isn't it? When they do a pitch invasion like that it, at, at mass speed, if someone falls over, they're going to get seriously injured. Yeah. Um, and that's why that's yeah. why they don't like them. As mm-hmm. well as the issues we saw with Sheffield United a couple of seasons ago in playoff semi-final True. and Huddersfield and Luton, if you remember. Yeah. yeah. A couple yeah. of years back where uh, Luton players got, got grabbed. I don't think mm-hmm. any of them got punched though, but he got punched last night. He got absolutely clocked by a coward as well, running from side yeah. of him. Didn't even Blind see side of him, yeah. And then he's hit him, and then as his head's gone down, he's gone underneath Someone him, else him again. Gone. And then mm. another one's come up and, mm. and smacked him in, smacked him in um, body. Yeah, unacceptable it, behavior. It, and I'm it, hoping that it's unacceptable, mate. It's not. It's absolutely. It, well, it's assault, isn't it? It's assault. Yeah. That's what, that's that's what it is. Anywhere else, but on a football field, and that's common assault. Yeah, and, I'm uh, hoping that clubs are some some people in authority get a, a grip of this and uh, come out with a statement. I'll be very very disappointed. Very disappointed if Barnsley or Portsmouth don't come out with some kind of statement. If, they don't, this. The, if they don't protect the player, you know, Barnsley just, at the very least should be calling it out because of course it's just, yeah. a player that's been that's been assaulted on on the, on the field of play. And it's not they're making it up. Yeah. I thought you know I thought we got past all this stupidness that, that, that we used to get at football. Yeah. It's, re- it's rearing its ugly head again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah need to get it just and... thinks it's all right to walk onto a field and 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 cowardly smack someone that's not seen it coming. Yeah. Probably bragging about it to his mates. Yeah. You know, if anybody at Bounds is yeah. watching this, then please, you know, feel free to contact me or put some attack there. Um, I'll happily share it, uh, no matter what you put out on socials, just to get all there, just like I did with Paul Reedson, because I got uh, reached out by Paul Reedson about him being mascot, the only mascot at Portsmouth. Uh, and I shared all that. So, as good as as, as well as it is doing the good stuff, you've also got to call so far, and I'll have to share that and make it irrelevant so as many fans know yeah. about it. Um, right then, so I'm moving off from Portsmouth. We're going to one coast to other, but we're going further over to uh, into the Red Rose country, though, Ryan, this one. Yeah. Uh, Blackpool, mate. Again, this... Oh, God. I well, don't know it's going to go, biggest game of the season so far, isn't it? If, yeah. If, if, if we're going to be for both gonna... sides, for both sides, for both teams, yeah, that's what I mean. For both teams, it, yeah. it's the biggest game of the season because Blackpool don't win, mate. Their playoffs, they, they can't afford to draw. Yeah, they've got to win both games to to to, to have any chance of catching those. Or um, I'm not sure. Actually, could they? They could still catch. No, they wouldn't. So hang on, where five Black, points in Black, front? Yeah, so we I, need actually, one point. they still could probably they could potentially catch. Um, Oxford, if they don't score another point this season, if, yeah. even if they lose against us. But 
regardless, I mean, it's pretty much over, isn't it? If they if if they don't win the game, mm. um, and we and we need to win it, we we cannot yeah. afford to get beat. We've still got another opportunity against against Northampton, but I'd rather not. I'd rather yeah, not. I, I, yeah, I'd Maybe. rather not as well. Yeah. Um, I think if you play, would you make any like changes? Play, would you make any you changes? To, would you make any changes going to a Blackpool game? It depends if Lucas fit, doesn't it? It depends if Lucas fit. Mm. Um, if Grant not, did out wrong for me, though, to be fair. You what? I said Grant didn't do out wrong for me. No. I would you have Luke on bench as an impact sub? I thought it were, yeah, potentially, mate. I mean, I thought I thought Conor Grant were absolutely excellent. I thought he was so, mm. he played so well. He'd probably won at my, you know, one of a standout performers for me. He, yeah, yeah. He, he, he moved ball really quick. He's got really skillful feet. He's got got pace. Like I said, he was look, looking to move ball quickly. Mm. Um, you know, he got it from a really. Um, but when he when when we got for Cole's goal, he got it in a difficult position, and then he's he's managed to get out of it and and spray that ball lovely. Yeah. Into, into I think it was Phillips won it before Phillips was good laid vision, but yeah, it. good vision, but yeah, um, yeah. I think it's, it's, yeah um, I mean, if if. We perform really well, mate. So it's maybe not, maybe not change the team. Um, mm. It depends if Lucas fit. It depends if Lucas fit. Um, I suppose, and maybe Luke comes in, and and, and Grant drops at ben, bench. But I think that'd be pretty harsh because I thought, again, I thought he were excellent last night. Mm. Um, so other other than other than um, other than um, maybe uh, Luke coming in for Conor Grant um, or one of other midfielders, I'm not. I, Probably not, mate. No, and maybe Corey O'Keefe coming in for Cotter. Mm. Um, but other than that, no, I'd leave it as it is. Cole might be on his, uh, you know, his goals, oh, goal scoring mate. spree now. After yeah. this, Finger, uh, fingers crossed, it, you know, it might be peaking at right time. Yeah, I hope so. Mate. Mean, yeah. I hope so. All strikers go through it, and you know, I think across the whole fan base and stuff, I think you, you know, Devante Cole's form has been. Less than impressive, it's, shall we say, um, yeah. of late and, and his performances as well. But I'm not, I don't want like I said, I don't want to point the finger at Devante because of late, the, tip, the whole team's not been playing well for, for, for large for large chunks of the last seven or eight games, you know, last night, last night aside. So, um, yeah, I, I think I keep it as it is, unless we bring Luca in for, unless we, unless we bring Luca in for, for Conor Grant, otherwise I'd leave it. Mm. But we, you know, it's so important that we play. Like we did um, against Portsmouth. Now that might be more difficult because we know what Blackpool did last time, and I, I expect probably expect to see that again. But yeah. Whether their fans will let them get away with it at home or not, I'm not sure. But they, you know, we because they do play a bit more of an attacking style. But that's what caught you know. If you remember the interview from from Neil Collins at the time, they weren't expecting him to sit back, were they? And they just sat mm. back. Um, so I can expect something. Yeah. You know, if you saw what happened last time and it worked, you can potentially expect that again. Expect which, will yeah. slow, which will slow the game up. It will slow the game up dramatically. Um, going to be a good following as well from Barnsley. Yeah, but I think we've just got to go after them, mate. We've got to go after them regardless. Because um, it mean, is a I'm... bit like, I don't, again, I don't want to say it's like a freebie, like I said, because it, but we, we've got another opportunity against Northampton at home to, to, to secure mm. the playoffs. So why not? Why not take it to Blackpool? I think we should. Why not take it? Should. Why not go at them 100 miles? Like we did last night. Go at them 100 mile an hour. Yeah. I think we should. Because and like I said... First goal. Get that first goal, then they've got to change their game plan. I'm looking at the, the master players and all the back row stuff as well. You, you know, you, you don't want to be going into last game of the season dependent on a result. And then, like, what's it going to affect you going to the playoffs? I'd rather be going in, you know, bad performance against... Uh, Portsmouth, going to a decent performance in second game to Blackpool, similar again Northampton and start start again. Yeah. You know we've we've had a, we've had a pretty crappy you know last few weeks if I'm being honest month, the result wise and performance wise. Now I'm hoping we've like this turn that curve and we're starting just to come in right now because you've got Lincoln. Oh, what a result that was for them away at Oxford last yeah. night. Uh, one considering, considering it up for Oxford to be you know. This one I'm on about. So again, there's a lot of variables still to go. Uh, yeah. And I, I and I'd be wanting the similar, like you've said, be an intensity by Barnsley, like we showed against Post. We've taken game to him. Let's let's show our intent because again, it's frustrating to know that you've got the players that can do it, but for some reason the shackles have been on them. Yeah. And I think release the shackles, let them go and play. Let them 
we know what we can do. Like you said, via Conor Grant, oh, what's going to play like if this start? And do you know what? He looked like he'd been playing via all season. He looked outstanding, yeah. He, he, but he, he, like I said, Neil, we've just got to take it to him, mate, and play play like we did or similar to, you know, with the same sort of intensity and effort. De- depending on how Blackpool play, we'll, 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 we'll determine how, how quick, you know, how, whether the spectacle will look like it did last night, as in mm-hmm. two attacking teams going at each other. But we're just going to have to take it to him, mate, and, 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 and absolutely go for it. And like you say, hopefully this is the, that performance is the turnaround. Because for me now, that performance last night is the line in the sand. Yeah. That's the line in the sand now to say, we've watched and we've seen how this team can play with those tactics. Don't want to see anything else but that. Don't want to see anything else but that now moving forward. Because that's the best way. That's the way that we'll be successful. That's the way that we'll win lots of football games playing like that last night. Agreed. You know, yeah, that, obviously, there were the, 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 the slip-ups at the end, but we are playing top of the league, you know. And, you know, if we play that kind of football with that sort of intent and that intensity, we're going to win a lot more football games than we lose. Um, fair, fair comment. Yeah, you know, fair if comment. we play anything like we've been playing in the previous games, we, we weren't getting playoffs. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's and, it, and, it, and it's shown, yeah, isn't it? We weren't, we weren't getting playoffs. So it, it's, it's, you know, it's what ball sort of firmly in their court, isn't it? And it has shown, like we've just said, yeah, we don't play like we have done, but we're not going to get playoffs. We're just we're literally just scraping it of a, of a line at the minute. We, yeah. When you think about it, a month ago, we were knocking on to, we could have been in second. So it just goes to show, you don't play to your full potential, what detrimental effect you can have. You can easily yeah. slip out at playoffs. Oh, especially with games like... For the last few weeks, it's been week and midweek, week and midweek. Coming up thick and fast, you know. We've had uh, Portsmouth, then it's going to be Blackpool. Previous to that, it's been uh, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So, again, it only takes a couple of dodgy results for you and always pick yeah. up points. And it can easily up and down all the time. Uh, school prediction, my mate, against Blackpool. Um, just because the kind, kind type of game it is, I think I think we'll definitely concede. Um I think I think we're going to beat them, mate. I think I think we're going to beat them. I, I think you know the lads will see they know how important the game is, um, and with that performance, surely as as good as they'll be to have lost that game last night, mm. surely they can take loads of positives um, yeah. and a massive confidence boost out of the way that we performed last night, um, and take it into the Blackpool game and and go and beat them. So I'm going to say three one Barnsley. Oh, you you done me. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. I, I, I just think that with following we're gonna be taking over two thousand. Um the occasion, I think we know that you know we need that result, as do Blackpool, but I just think we've got enough in our locker, such as a bit of magic from uh McAtee. D- Devante I hope you had to his goal tally, now he's, he's scored that one. But like I said, we've still got a goal to concede to at uh, back. But I'm going three-one Barnsley away win. Uh, I just feel that once we've done this, then right, we can. We've got no offense coming up at all. Let's implement it because it happened last season when we played did, 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 Peterborough at home, and I think we took us foot off the gas and we were thinking already in front for playoffs. Maybe, yeah, against Bolton, I'm thinking um, uh, Peterborough they look dangerous, and I just thought that we don't fall in that mindset again. It's like right, we need to, like you said. Lines in sandbox been drawn. This is the standard we need to be on from the ports of yeah. game. Anything less is unacceptable. And I think yeah. it starts again on uh, Saturday against Blackpool, and we need to follow that momentum on. And let, let's take, let's carry on following that momentum there. Um, but yeah, I agree with you, Ryan. I think it's a balance to win three uh, one. People watching, let us know what your thoughts is as well about the. McCart getting clobbered, uh, unacceptable behaviour. Let us know your thoughts about Blackpool game. Uh, if you are going to Blackpool game, which there's quite a few going, uh, have a safe journey as well and probably see you milling about. I'll be well, we can get back to the white, white rose of uh, Yorkshire with uh, a, a, I say a comfortable win, but uh, uh, yeah, a nice win. A, uh, a win and, and a playoff place guaranteed. And, yeah. And then we go from there, don't we? So we're not taking all that yeah. stress into that last game of the season. Yeah, yeah. We don't need that, especially with his own form and what it's been like. We don't, <laughs> we don't need added pressure on it, do we? So, but we'll move on to that. That's another video for another day. That one, right? So, yeah, yeah we'll move on to that one. 
But uh, Ryan, uh, the beer attack, as always, mate, it's been a pleasure to, uh, chatting to you. We've covered uh, quite a few things. Cheers, pal. Uh, people watching back, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I know you always do. Appreciate it and comment as well. Uh, it's not, you know, we're moving to the weekend. Uh, let's 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 get let's get away and let's get back to Yorkshire. And like what Ryan said, via less stress going into home game. We don't want to be going into that one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good rest of your week and uh, probably see you mocking about in Blackpool. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>